Hi, my name is Jamie, and I'll be a rising senior this fall. Last summer, as a rising junior, I went to SCAD summer seminar program, and I went for a week. The summer seminar programs from SCAD are a week-long course in which you take two classes. I took acrylic painting techniques in the morning and graphic design in the afternoon. This year, I was supposed to go to the SCAD Rice, Rising Star program, so that's pretty cool, but like it went online, so I decided to take another two, uh, some, uh, two weeks of the summer seminar. This year, I'm taking sustainability, something about design your world, your and then I'm taking digital drawing techniques, which I'll take in July. If you want to see my experience with the online summer seminars, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, so in this video, I'll be talking about the summer seminars from last year, 2019. For the painting classes, we had this thing, since it was acrylic techniques, it was like half abstract and half like observational drawing. So we started with observational drawing. They have this like... Thing. I don't know what it's called, but they have like this thing where they have the things. <laughs> There's this thing. So they have this thing in which they have like random stuff that you can draw in the middle and then like the painting things around it. So we started by like going around and looking at the perspective that we wanted to like drawing and like starting to sketch what we wanted to like actually paint. They gave us Strathmore gray paper. So this, I think this was my first one, first one, and I didn't like it. But then I uh, did this one, and it was like better, but like still, it wasn't my thing. In the end, I decided like for another perspective in which I did the vase and then like this small plant holder thing, and this was essentially what my observational painting was about this is my finished finished painting the lightning is better here so anyways they taught us first to do this thing which i do not know what it's called but it's like painting everything like a light color so everything was painted in green first and we didn't directly draw like the thing like the painting on top of it we had to use the paintbrush to draw what you were looking at while you were looking at it so there was no pencil in this it was all from brush you can see the colors here how they look and there's even like green undertones behind it i don't know and overall this was my observational painting it probably took me eight eight hours six hours something around that for the abstract ones we if we had time we could do two paintings but m most people only made like one they taught us how to use different mediums such as actual medium um a retarder and stuff that i don't remember what it's called because yeah but i used a lot of the stuff that was provided and i made this painting which was by no means similar to this i changed it like another five times because i always messed up and it's still messed up i have some like colors that messed it up but it was supposed to be a sunset and it's not but yeah and then my other painting which is much more abstract is this which i'm not sure how i got to this point but I did. So in this one, you can see the mediums that I use. Like the texture is like noticeable in the painting. Uh, but I'm not really sure why I did this. I just did. So yeah. So like at the end of the week, we had the critique session. Our teacher put all of the paintings in like a board. And she started to go over each one and gave us feedback. We gave feedback also on other peers. For graphic design, we also learned about letterpress. So letterpress is letters that are like molded and stuff and you put them in a, like a placard or something. You paint over them with ink and then place a paper and pass it over with a, like a roller. That's letterpress and it ends up in this. 
like paper with ink on it and like whatever you wrote in it. For my project, we were supposed to take a quote, letter press the quote, scan it, photoshop it, and make a poster. My quote was, don't edit yourself for the world, because I feel like it's very important to be authentic, right? This was my initial letter press. I'll put, put a picture here. But this is letter press. You put the paper and you pass it over, right? After that, we put it in, we scanned it in like, imported to photoshop in photoshop you were supposed to do whatever you wanted like make a poster with the sign elements and i did this poster which i actually really like and i did put a lot of effort in that poster it was it was hard i had never used photoshop before i had never done digital art before but it was really cool so that was pretty much what i made in the painting and graphic design courses I do recommend going to SCAD. It's obviously closed this year, but it was like a really great experience. I learned a lot. If anybody wants to know about my experience in the SCAD summer program, like in the SCAD, uh, if you want to know about my SCAD, if you want to know about my summer seminars this year that is going online, let me know and I'll make a video about my online experience in the SCAD thing. Thank you for watching. I hope this was I hope this was helpful for you if you want to go to SCAD and like I hope you liked what I did. If you do check my Instagram, subscribe, like, I don't know. Thank you.